Uh, today, we begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And with your spirit. Very good. Um, before I forget, just uh, today's um, the uh, Catechetical Sunday, and we always have a collection called the Catholic Education Collection, and it uh, benefits all of uh, our programs here uh, in our parish and uh, the, the diocese for uh, from young people to old people, whether you are in religious ed or whether you are in a school, and uh, so the, half of the money stays here, so that's the second collection. And one more thing is the Lord calls us into the vineyard today to be, uh, you know, his stewards and his workers. So we call to mind our sins. You gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You will come in glory to save your people. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks to the great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who formed all of the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him when he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet, that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only, conduct yourselves in a way that is worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle at the marketplace. He said to them, come, you too, go into my vineyard. I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went off out again at noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around, said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one is hiring us. He said, You too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their daily wage, their pay, beginning with the last, ending with the first. So the, the, those who started at about five o'clock came and each received the usual daily wage. When the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them got the usual wage. On receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me? The usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Am I not free to do as I wish with my money? Are you envious because I'm generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
I don't know if you're like me, but everybody likes when this reading comes in and once they hear it, they, oh, here we go. And we always get stuck in our own life. It's not fair. It's not fair. Of course, we're talking about heaven realities and the grace of God and the generosity and love of God. But, uh, you know, there's something about the, what irks you, especially in the parables, they're, they're designed that way. There's something in them they're supposed to make you feel uncomfortable and strange or unusual, and, and somehow the Spirit of God can work with that. And isn't life like that too? Whatever makes us, you know, we question, wonder, somehow God's Spirit gets in there and, and works on us. As I thought about this reading, I thought about... We might work a full day, we might not. Whether we work the eight hours or wait, whether we work the one hour. We might just work one hour even though we're there physically for eight hours. And so the whole idea of how much, you know, do you give to your work day and then look, moving on to the door, spiritual life, you know, how much do we really put into our spiritual life? Again, this, I'm thinking about the week now as I'm talking. There's seven days a week. We come this one hour and we give it to God. What about the rest? Or what about if you've been doing the same thing with your spiritual life, you know, for years and years, maybe you're supposed to move on and give more of yourself to the Lord. So, it's not too late to take your faith seriously. Okay, we're going to set up a video. I'm going to tell you what it's about. Okay, we have a thing called form.org. And uh, it sounds kind of like, well, what's that? And we're going to find out what that is. But it's a wonderful opportunity to, to get on top of all of the, um, the Catholic things that are going on. And we got it from, from the parish, uh, from the parish, from, actually, it's, we got a grant from the Catholic Foundation of Northwest Pennsylvania, our diocese, and it's an ed the education grant. And um, in your, on all of your homes and in your devices, like your phones and your iPads and your TVs, you'll be able to get all kinds of Catholic stuff, movies and books, etc. They'll tell you about that. Uh, and and um, that's going to be fantastic. And um, along with that, we're going to also, with the grant money, we are going to get a, a new book rack in the, in the back. And for those of you that are low-tech, uh, there will be CDs and books and pamphlets and DVDs. And we'll, that will be coming soon. Again, that's from the grant money that we got from the Catholic Foundation of Northwestern Pennsylvania. You also notice in the back table as you walked in that we have taken the worship signs. And uh, we are embarking again on that. And uh, please, if your sign has been faded or if you don't have one or if you know one, somebody that doesn't have one, take a Take Me to Worship sign with you and put it on your front yard uh, to encourage that again encourages children to come back, come to church. Uh, the values of one hour uh, benefits the church. Uh, benefits the child, and uh, it's, an, it's for parents to think about that. Anyway, so we got an evangelization grant from the diocese again for this, for our evangelization process, and one of the big things is our Take Me to Worship and the web page that tells you to go to. Okay, so now let's see what we have to offer.
church needs to step into this space and proclaim boldly and courageously and joyfully the good news about Jesus Christ. We want to show that there's good content, beautiful content, true content that's easily accessible to deepen our faith and love and our hope. And that's what St. John Paul II was all about. He was about hope. He was a man of great courage and great faith. And in that, he called us towards a new springtime for the church and for the world. But to do that, we need a new evangelization. And for that new evangelization, he was calling us to a return of the 50s. Not the 1950s, but the 50s AD, where those first Christians, filled with faith and love, took to the Roman roads and shared the good news of Jesus Christ all over the Roman Empire. Well, my friends, there is a new Roman road today. The new Roman roads is the internet and the digital age. And we need to take up these roads for the faith, for Jesus Christ. And that's what form.org is all about. We're taking the best of Catholic teaching, the best Catholic speakers and presenters, and we're making it easily accessible all in one place, all over the world. And we do that through four categories. The first is programs. Here we've gathered together a library of videos that teach and share the Catholic faith in an amazing way. We bring together some of the greatest Catholic presenters in the world today, from Bishop Barron to Father Michael Gailey, Scott Vaughn, Leah Darrow, and other great world-class speakers that help people take the great teaching of the Catholic faith, but show how you practically live these beautiful truths. So it's faith and life every step of the way in every program of them. The second category is audio. Here we've taken again some of the best Catholic presenters and speakers around the world, taking diverse topics like understanding the faith or practical ways to live the faith in your family life, in your spiritual life. We've brought all these things together and make it easily accessible for you to listen to in your car, on your smart devices, and phones, anytime that you have space and time to listen to the faith, you can easily now with this great digital library of great audio. Our next category is movies. And here we want to make what St. Paul challenges us to do in his letter to the Philippians, to focus on whatever is beautiful, good, true, noble. That's what we put before you. All the beautiful and good and true things about our faith and put it in one place. And now you can take your entertainment time and let it be an edifying time as well with movies on St. John Paul II, or ancient saints like St. Philip Neri, great stories like The Way. We provide all this for movie night, for your families, for you to watch and be moved and inspired. Our next category is digital books. You can download these books and put them on your iPad, on your Kindle. You can read them or listen to them, all easily accessible. The beauty of form.org is it's a digital wealth of resources all in one place for you to listen to at any place, to watch at any time, all easily accessible because we want to walk with you in this digital age to help you understand, live, and share your Catholic faith. So the bulletin, it tells you um, how to do this, uh, but uh, just quickly, I'll just say it really quick. Um, you go to formed.org, and then you click sign up, and then you say, I belong to a parish, and then you find our parish, St. Mark, and then you enter the zip code. That's the password is the zip code, so that makes it easy. Uh, the zip code, of course, here, and you're in. Um, 
The other thing that I didn't mention, which is really amazing, I think, is a lot of us are getting Roku's now, or if they have other kind of streaming devices like the Goat the TV, um, you can get the app right directly, you know, right on your Roku, boom, and at form.org, boom, and you, those movies, there's some amazing movies there, because I've seen a lot of them, uh, and you can just watch them, you know, or watch, or learn something about your faith, so um, it's, that part's pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. So um, today is also one of the reasons we did the show this today is because Catechetical Sunday. And we're very thankful for anybody that has, you know, catechizes the faith, uh, helps us grow. And, uh, and Jen Brightus is here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping it all going in this parish. And the people that volunteer, uh, their time is an amazing thing, but it's all about spreading the word of God. And it's, you know, more and more we're saying it's not just for kids anymore and tonight we have our first family gathering and again the adults will be part of it as well uh, and uh, for all of us too to keep growing in our faith and this form.org is again great for us to be formed in our faith and so uh, that's very wonderful we profess our faith I believe in one God the Father Almighty maker of heaven and earth all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, our salvation came down from heaven. My Holy Spirit was incarnate in the Virgin Mary, became man. For our sake, he crucified and Pontius Pilate suffered death, was buried, rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, descended to heaven, seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. He will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit. The Lord Proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified, spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism with forgiveness of sins. Look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the light of the world to come. Amen. With our faith in the Lord Jesus and his power to save, we offer our prayers. Our response this morning, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Persico, and all church leaders, that God will protect them from harm and help them give faithful witness to the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace on earth, that God will turn hearts from violence and terrorism to help people to use their energy to defeat poverty and disease, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For safe and honest elections, that God will guide those who organize the elections, protect each district from interference, and motivate all to fulfill their civic responsibilities by voting. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect for human life, particularly for the unborn, that God will open all hearts to the beauty of the gift of life. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For Kenneth Jerome Montecalvo, infant son of Michael and Victoria Straub Montecalvo, and Margaret Catherine McCorkle, infant daughter of Brian Courtney Straub McCorkle, on their holy baptism, may you both be blessed with faith all your days. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young people in religious education, especially all grades preparing for the reception of sacraments this year, especially Jonathan Chelton and Dane Erskine, who are to be baptized soon, that they'll grow in knowledge and love of God and in their commitment to the Christian community. We pray. Lord, we hear our prayer. For all catechists, that they may effectively lead those entrusted to them to a deeper knowledge and love of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our community churches, especially Pastor Richard Bennett and members of the Down County Baptist Church, 
We also pray for Father Felix and the members of San Antonio, our sister parish in the Yucatan, that the Spirit of God will help us grow in unity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved deceased, especially for Jay Adel, who died recently, and for the St. Mark's and St. James living and deceased, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For any special intentions you may wish to voice at this time. We pray. Lord, hear Here to answer our prayers, help us grow in faith, hope, and love, and help transform the world by your presence. We ask in Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 We're very thankful for everyone that offers and gives up to, to, to our parish. <coughs> and um, we have our collection baskets. If you're um, viewing online, please remember to drop it off before. Uh, or mail it to the board to get it online. So thank you very, very much. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness it has bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed you, God. God. with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and God. It is true right and just our duty our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changings of times and seasons you formed us in your own image setting the human race over all the world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made, and forever praise you for your mighty works, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you, in joyful celebration we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the working and power of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, you make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we've brought to you for consecration. They become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. As we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray on the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and be filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all your saints on his constant intercession, in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, Bishop Donald, and all the clergy, on the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family who have come and before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant peace and unity, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you. sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe you're most present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. Desire to receive you into my soul. Since I can't receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you are already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. So if you've noticed, uh, you might not have gotten in the same pew you've been going to before because uh, we have more pews now opened up and it will change the arrangement a little bit. Um, Bishop Persico gave us permission then to tape off every other pew, to mark off every other pew instead of every third pew so we can get more people in here. And so we're glad to hear that. So people come on in, we got more room. Okay. so. Um, to continue with more about these things, that we, the Masses at St. James and Driftwood, they will still will be postponed on, uh, throughout the fall season. So we'll give you an announcement when St. James opens, but it looks like we're holding off again through the, the winter, the fall and winter. Um, St. James, is, St. Mark is in St. James, very sad to um, the, have our dearest parishioner Jay Adel had passed away, and um, the family's here. Thank God. God bless you guys for being here. But uh, as far as the parish goes, you know, he was a finance moderator for so many years, and uh, was so active in so many ways, so much care and love for this parish. I always, really, when I walk around anymore, I keep thinking, when I see something that was fixed or something that was nice, and I said, well, Jay was always on that. <laughs> he was always like, what did this be to be the place, you know? <laughs> A nice place to be in a tip-top shape and uh, wanted St. Mark's to be the best around and for his life and his service we are very grateful. The Lord be with you. Amen. God's blessings upon you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. A setting forth a beautiful Savior.